So how should I, the notorious Disney shell, who always defends the Disney, react to Acolyte? This is kind of meh. It's um, meh for the most part. The strongest parts were lightsabers. The music was incredible. The music actually was very, very powerful. That's very reassuring. That's something with the Disney era that's a little been, a little been lacking here and there without uh, the iconic people doing the scores. But beyond that, um, not too much to recommend it. The costumes seem strong, at least production design, getting some locations. Yes, it's good, but nothing too special. It doesn't have the distinct touch of, of The Last Jedi, at least with choosing locations like that island. Good or bad, it's very iconic. Um, and again, I do like Carrie in the Matrix trilogy. However, I don't know, it just seems kind of weak tea. And I've been spoiled on a few plot elements. If the leaks are true, then they don't have very much in terms of story. So the setup here is we're some time before the prequels start. So the Sith are just re-emerging. Will they be the main antagonist? Don't know. Some Jedi are being killed and they're being sent in to investigate. I guess that's interesting. But the dialogue at the beginning was really rough. I mean, it was really, really rough. So I just don't see much here. I mean, the most interesting parts will be how this links to Palpatine, right? How he becomes Sidious later, Plagueis, and those elements of Star Wars that the prequels laid out. Whereas here they're leaning in on the Jedi, who I think are not that interesting. So I guess this is really more for the High Republic fans, but I don't know the High Republic stuff. Probably the one thing I was intrigued by was the Wookiee, who could be a Jedi. So that's interesting. That's never been seen live action. And a lot of people have made these stupid statements that a Wookiee cannot be a Jedi. I'm like, what are you talking about? Obviously, they can be a Jedi. They're an organic being. So it will, I think, be good to kill a few fan myths that people who don't really know Star Wars and filter those people out and expose them as idiots. But a thing for itself, I mean, the idea of going back before the prequels is fascinating, but this particular edge was um, not that strong. It's nothing too terrible, but nothing too interesting either. So maybe this is just a kind of like uh, mid-trailer, but it will be great when we see it. So I'm going to give the trailer a severe 6 out of 10. I can't recommend it yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But some intriguing elements, but not enough.